everybody, it's Valerie Wallace from Valerie Wallace Fine Arts here in Orono, Maine, in my basement, in my, I mean, in my studio, in my basement, and um, I have pre-drawing class every day at 1 o'clock, for a little while longer, I think. And um, today we're going to do this cute little um, rainy day scene from an artist, I believe he's British, um, named Pete Rumney. And um, you may have seen these before, but he also does a lot of the um, gray pictures with the uh, women in the red dress and the umbrella and stuff like that. So you might have seen his things. Well, all kinds of really, really great stuff. And fun things to like work from because they're kind of straightforward. Um, so I'm going to do one on this gray piece of paper with an oil pastel. And um, down here I'm going to just do one with a Sharpie. Okay? And we're just going to um, just do it simple. It's all going to come together, okay? Um, I think that's really all we need to know. Are we ready? We're ready. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm going to use this rusty brown sienna. It's kind of like a brick red. Um, if you want to start with yellow, go ahead and start with yellow. We're going to start with this guy right here, or her, this girl right here, okay? And what I want you to see is her little, or I'm going to say, I guess I'm saying her. I'm stuck with that. Her little head looks like a box. All right, so we want to do that. We don't want to go too high because we want to be able to fit that umbrella in there. So maybe around the middle of the paper, a little bit in from the right because we need to have room for these things. So don't set it here. Come in a little bit. And what I'm going to have you do is make a little box. Okay? Can you do that? All right, down here I'm going to do another one. I'm going to try to remember to be a little tiny bit smaller because it's as small as his favorite. All right, I don't need two of these right now. The next thing we're gonna do, we need to have long arms. You don't want little stubs for arms, okay? One arm's going up, so you're gonna go right from that, that thing and you're gonna draw a line that goes up, and then you're gonna make an opposite one that goes down. And the arms probably are the same size. If they're not, it goes from being like here to being here from behind. It just moves, but it's fine, okay? Little bit at the cuff, and then back in, but not any farther than the square, okay? Because the hood is pretty big and, you know, it's a raincoat. So it's, it's not a skin tight, you know, lycra jacket. It's, it's a boxy Macintosh if you're in England. Jolly old England. That's what a raincoat is? A Macintosh. A Mac. Yeah. Like the washes, I think. Oh no, they call them something else. Okay. The, the coat flares out a little bit at the bottom, so if you can do this, you start kind of at the armpit, right? And just bring it down a little bit and kind of curve it out to one side. And on the other side, if one of your shoulders is up, then your other, then that side of your coat drops down. So if we went, if you wanted to, you could go a little bit lower on this side so that this line tilts down a little bit. Okay? Let's give them some hands. You can just make little boxes. Like that. And one of the things, because... We're looking at this kid from behind. I want you to take this line of the um, shoulder and I want you to cross over this a little bit. Okay? And then here, yeah, no, we'll just leave it. Just cross this a little bit. We're going to bring this down from the armpit like this. I know it looks funny now, but trust me, it's going to be darling. All right? Oh, All little hands. Little box. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, kids have a little bit shorter legs, so you don't, if this were, you know, an older kid, 10 years old or so, the legs would go long, you know, they would be longer than whatever the, whatever the body is, so they would be way off of here. But this is a, sh a younger kid, so he's got the sh little bit shorter legs. One leg is coming right straight down. It doesn't make sense for it to come out here. That would be weird. It has to come kind of from where the body is. So you're going to drop down from here, you're going to straight down. Okay, and the, and the toe on this boot is big, but it's very, very short. Okay, so if you bring, um, if you go across the bottom, and then you bring down another part of the leg, what you're doing is just making a, a, a big hump, kind of like that. Okay, part of the reason why I'm using the brown is because it blends into all of the colors that I'm working with, but also just because it's darker so that you guys can see it, okay? Now this other leg is kicking out a little bit, and I think it's easier, okay, so I'm going to draw that boot, is if we draw the boot and collect, connect a leg to it. So just go real close to the coat and make yourself 
a little boot. Okay, and then just put two lines that connect it to the coat. Okay? I thought the arms were long in this guy, but mine are long too. Got some long arms on that kid. Oh, that's good. All right, so down here I'm going to do it again. I'm going to find kind of where the coat, where the body is. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go across. You want the foot to be at least as big as its head. Okay, maybe I'll come up like that. Get a boot. Okay, and here what I'm going to do is draw the boot first. Have this. This. Come up. Over. However way you want to do it. Okay? Okay. Alright. Let's do the um, 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 umbrella while we're at it, okay? And I think that if you start with the stick, what is it, stick, handle, yeah. the handle of it, I think that you'll find that will work a little bit better, okay? okay? So it doesn't matter where, like if I'm running a little close here, that if I go straight up, part of my umbrella is going to go off the page. So I may be going to tilt the stick, the um, handle this way just a little bit, okay? So I know that's going to come out of the hand. It's going to be a straight line that goes maybe that long. And then I want a part that comes out of the bottom of the hand that curves. Okay, like that. So have that go in whatever direction makes sense to you. Not too long so that you can fit it on the page. All right, but have the handle come out. We have a little thumb right there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is it has these little rainbow curves. Okay. So if you start right in the middle and you bump. Oh. I did it again. Okay, it gets soft in my hand and then breaks. And then if I go a bump, bump here. If you made really tiny bumps, you might want to add one more. If you made really big ones, maybe not. And and then maybe find the middle and round down like this and round down like that, and you'll have an umbrella kind of like that. And then you go opposite the handle and you make a little pokey piece that goes up like that. Okay, it looks better already, right? Love it. Loving it. All right. It's cute. I love Very these cute. guys' pictures. Okay, so you make some little rainbows. Start right in the middle. Go down one way. Go down the other way. I'm going off the page. And I'm going to make my handle up there. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll color in a minute. We'll draw the other person and then we'll do, uh, I'll do some coloring on the gray one. Okay? And then you can, if you're doing black and white down here, you can just leave it or you can um, color it in with your markers or something. All right? All right. I have paper in my mouth. <laughs> How? Same thing, don't look at the face. The head is just a box. All right, now this time, you know, whatever space you have left, or maybe around the middle. If we're going to put this arm going above this kid a little bit, then you can get pretty close to, to the first guy. All right, so I'm going to go right about, maybe right about here, and I'm going to make a box. Pretty big. If you don't make it big, then it's going to be really hard to like put a little bit of face in there. Um, let's do this. If you, I'm going to make mine bigger. So what I'm going to do is use this as the inside part of the face and I'm going to go around it up a little bit tall and down again. This gets a little bit bigger. Okay. So if you have a really big square to start with, then put it on the inside. If you have it, if you um, have kind of a small one, do it on the outside. This kid's a little bit bigger, so a little bit bigger head. All right, so I'm going to do that. And also, the more you have on the top, the more it's going to look like the kid's head's tip, tip down a little bit. Okay, and like looking at its feet while it's jumping around in the water. Okay? All right, I guess I don't need to hold two. Let's see if I break this one until... Okay, so now we have the arms, all right? And they're going to come right out of the side of this hat, hat, um, hat, um, hood. Right, okay. That's going to look really funny on my, um, what do you call it when they write the letters? The, I mean, when they write the words underneath the video, transcribed or something? Oh, like, uh, what's it called? Trans transcription? 
Closed captioning, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know, a lot of times it comes up closed caption and it's, it's funny what I say. Oh, crap. This is, all of this is gonna be terrible, okay. Little hands, you can just make little boxes, okay? Now we'll, um, we'll come back to the face. All right, this coat is flaring out like this. So you're gonna come down and I wanna go below the hands, this other kid's hands, just for the sake of space. I'm gonna go like that that across okay now this kid is kind of like doing this which is kind of weird um let's yeah let's do the upper part of the leg and what I'll do is have you go right in the middle and you're gonna make a wide a, a line that goes this way and a line that goes this way very wide um, V upside down V okay and then you have to be imagining that the leg is coming from in the body but like this two legs two two pieces like that Okay, then you just drop it straight down. Like that. Okay, and then they're over a little bit. And you can come from the knee if you want to. And bump out for the boot. Okay, it looks like a, like there's a house in the middle. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like that. Okay, so I'll do this one again, the same thing. So I went up. Where's my hand here? And I want up this way. And bring the coat around like that from the armpits. And then I'm going to start in the middle with a wide V, upside down V. And then I drop this right straight down. Let's do the face. So what I want you to do is just go to the bottom of this and I just want you to round it down like that. Okay. Oh. All right. And then we're going to round this one down a little bit. And so I'm going to put the hair on there a little bit darker afterwards, but I'm going to imagine that the bangs are coming kind of right across the top of her, her hair like that. And then right below, I'm gonna have eyes that curve down, okay? And then a little nose and then a smile, all right? If I make the, uh, the eyes curve down, Put the nose and the mouth really close together too. That'll make them look like he's looking down or she's looking down. All right, I like that. Um, let's do the umbrella. So same deal. I'm gonna maybe poke mine in a little bit in the other direction. So I'm gonna do the handle. Go into this hand. It's gonna come out the other side, out the bottom, and curve around. Get it, actually, get it up tall enough so that the bottom isn't going to run into the head of the, this character. All right? And then you're going to make the rainbows. The rainbows, which is the same thing as like a bat's wings. Mm. All right? Then find the handle and go right straight up, and that's going to be the middle. And that'll help you to just make it look symmetrical. If you start on one side and go around, you know, it's all good. But this will, if you want it to look more symmetrical, meaning more even, you're going to go like that. All right? A little stumpy piece at the top. All right, I'm going to put, that way these things go like this too. One in the middle goes right down, straight down the middle. And then these go like that, which is always kind of a neat little way to show like a half of a dome kind of thing. all divided up so you can put up all kinds of different colors in here. Daphne, what can you tell me about the color palette 
in it's this picture. Very primary. Yeah, yeah. It loves the primary colors, okay? And he also, this is this is really the big secret too, is that I mean normally I do this as a painting because um, it's you know, you have, you, you kind of sketch things out and then we go in and we paint the whole thing all dark, like dark, dark gray. So that then when we're done, done with it, we can come in with a white and we can put all this great, um, you know, raindrops all over. I mean, it's, it's one of his, I don't know if, I don't know of any, I'm, I mean, I don't know all kinds of artists, but I don't know anyone that does it like this and does such a great job. Okay. So it's really fun to paint. But we're doing drawing classes, so we're just going to sort of make do. Um, that's why I chose the gray paper, because I can use a little bit of white on here. And down here, we're just going to draw in the rain. But um, he uses the primary colors a lot. And I'm having deja vu. Why is that? Hmm. I didn't sleep great last night. Stayed up very late, too, <laughs> watching TV. I'm terrible. Wrong with I think it. lots of people are staying up late. I think you're right. And then luckily, and I'm all about staying up late, but luckily, the days are so long right now that even if you if you sleep, go to bed late and sleep in, um, you still get a lot of day. I've been experiencing good. that. But for sure. I do it in the winter, and then I sleep in, and then I'm bummed because there's like, you know, it's already dark by the time I've had lunch, you know. Okay. So the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, mean that you can't make those colors. Those are the ones you have to have to make the other things. The only secondary color in this is what, Daphne? The green. The green. Green is a mixture of yellow and blue, okay? Um, if you mix this blue and this yellow together, you highly it would be highly unlikely for you to get that green, but it's good to have green. You'd, you'd get green, but it just wouldn't look that delicious. Okay, are we ready? Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I'm gonna do some coloring here. I'm not really gonna do too much with this at the, until we get until I get the coloring done. I'll come back down here. We'll do a few details on this. All right, don't let me forget. Okay, I have a habit okay. of forgetting. All right. So um, I'm just going to go copy what's, what's on his. Um, I'm going to start with my yellow, just because yellow is going to want to mix in with everything else you got got going. Even if you're using markers, even if you're, you know, you're using colored pencils, sometimes it wants to pick up things. So take that light color, that light bright one, and get that on there first. Okay, so I'm going to go on here. And this, you'll see the brown will kind of pick up. And, you know, when you're drawing something like this, you know, you're doing it because, um, you know, you want to sh show an activity. I actually, the, re <laughs> the reason why I picked it is that the weather said it was going to rain all day. And I was like, well, let's do something fun that's, you know, goes along with a rainy day. And then it turned out that it's gorgeous out. It's like blue sky and coffee clouds and mm -hmm. all right I've got oh 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 this is important mm -hmm. if you're in if you're doing color at all what I want you to do is remember that if you put a little color on the ground it's gonna look white wet okay it's gonna because the reflections in water whether it's a lake or whether it's um, a jar with a flower in it or it's water puddles it's all reflecting Okay, in all sorts of different ways. So you don't have there's no strict right or wrong way of doing it, but you just want to do it, and it will help to give that feel that the ground is wet. I am fascinated by. I have a dog, and I walk my dog every day, so I'm out in all kinds of weather. And when it's dark out, the way the street lights look on the wall, on the water, on the on the um, tar. It's just fascinating. I particularly noticed it then, but now I notice it when I'm driving too. I'd like to take pictures of it, but you kind of have to stand in the middle of the road, so try not to. All right, I'm gonna do this up here, a yellow one up here. Can you hear my stomach growling? <laughs> Maybe. Huh. I did eat. That's yoga. All right, so don't let me forget, I wanna put a little yellow right under the boots. Yellow under the jacket. 
Get yellow up there. That's not going to probably show. All right. And then I'm going to go to green. Put this nice green in here. There's just the one piece in this, in this picture anyway. Um, I'm going to put two. Why not? You put any colors you want, whatever your favorite colors are. Um, but that's part of the fact that they use the he uses the primary colors on something like this is part of giving it that childlike feel. No offense to the kids out there, but in the you know it used to be, you know that's all anybody ever gave you to to paint with was primary colors. That's, at least that's all I was given. All right, um, the blue I'm also going to put that on the pants. So I guess you can thank me for having a nice day because I jinxed it. <laughs> I will take that. You take credit for the yeah, nice I don't know day. if Lydia's watching, but happy birthday and happy birthday, Emily, too. Yes. I'm trying to think who else is having a birthday. I looked at my Facebook today. Mm. Mm. A bunch of people. A lot of people. I, I, my brain's not working that good, so I probably can't remember. But okay. Blue um, right here, blue right here. All right, time for that delicious red, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to do this. I'm going to put um, a little, I guess, white person's skin color on here, I guess. But it's going to be nice because it's going to pick up the brown a little bit and be kind of color. All right. And then I want to show you what I'm going to do with the hair. Okay. So that it looks like the person's got this hood on and it doesn't look like such a box. Okay. So if I use a real dark brown, oops, that's gray. I don't know any kids with gray hair, do you? Uh, no. Unless they have it dyed from um, Lavender. Okay, so what happens is right in here, I'm going to bring, and the lower I bring the, the bangs to the eyes, again, it'll kind of cover the, where the eyebrows will go, and it also helps to tur tilt the head down, okay? And then I'll bring it right down the side, leave a little space for the, um, and I can bring her hair like right under this a little bit. If you want it to be a boy, just don't bring the hair past the face unless it's a boy like my buddy Felix and who has long, very long hair. My son had very long hair too. Love it. Love long hair on boys. It's one of my things. Although my husband has very short hair. Although I did he like that. He had long hair, kind of. Yeah. yeah. A little mullet type shoe. Um, Although in, in my younger days, everybody had a shaved heads. Not because they were skinheads. It was, it was the punk rock look. Okay. See how that looks? It's going to look like they're looking down too much, but that's the whole deal with that. All right, now I'm going to take my red, and I'm going to curve this, this a little bit. This hood a little bit. It's a pretty big hood. that on there. If you leave a little bit, it doesn't wouldn't really work that great with the yellow, but if you leave a little bit of white behind, it might look a little shiny, like it's wet too, but. I hated wearing a raincoat when I was a kid though. Why? I get, you know why? The cool kids didn't wear raincoats. They just got wet? Yeah. Yeah, that does happen. You know? they all, but then you get older and then they just look kind of dumb. They don't I'll tell them. you what I had that I really, well, I love to have it now, but I was mortified as a, like, you know, first grader, was I had a pair of red rubbers, which were like little rubbery shoes that you stretched all over your sneakers to wear and I just like 
was mortified to have to ride the bus and have like little red rubber shoes on. It was, I might as well have been showing up in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> it was there. It was there. But now I'd be like, that's perfect. I just love to have those. Well, I'm glad you've evolved since yeah. fourth grade. First grade. Now I don't care what anybody thinks. I did that now. Kids on the bus were mean now. Yeah. I mean, you know. Kids are kids, but okay. Um Yeah, and some people but you know, I mean staying dry is a great thing, but I didn't want to do it then. No, no, no. No. And it seemed like I'd never wear the raincoat, and then the next thing I knew, I'd have to get it out, like, and then it would be too small. And then I was just seemed like such a waste. I remember having to get, Ruby and Veronica loved to wear their raincoats. And, um, and then there came a point where I just, like, couldn't keep up with how fast they were growing, and get them all that new stuff, and... And then they didn't have anything like anything protective at all. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I forgot the hands. So where's my color? Thanks. All right, do this. They used to have these black buckly things called galoshes, and in some kids you could put your whole shoe right in them. So now I'm going to take a black and I'm going to do a couple of accents on things. One of them is um, this kid can't get, it would have to pull this over the head. So let's do a little line down the middle and maybe a few, oh, you know what? Let's do it little buckles on this raincoat. They're real oh, fashion. Yeah. I'm sure the British kids don't mind wearing their own raincoats. It's probably cool there. All right, maybe I'll, you know, and, and it's very cartoony, so, I mean, you could put, you could use a pencil, you can accent a lot of it, you can not. It's up to you. I don't know. I told her I want to do more or less. All right, I don't need to do it there. Maybe a little bit on the bottom of the shoes, a little bit on the boots. And here, this one's good. I'm going to put uh, a little on my umbrella handle. All right. Ooh, wow. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> ah. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't really need to highlight that. Who's here? Oh, I bet I know. Calvin? Yeah. Okay. Um, dun, 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 dun. So I'll do that down here. I'll do this hair too. Getting the message though. Oh, All right. Um, yeah. Little pockets. Little cuffs. Um, maybe a little bit of buckles on the mm -hmm. boots. And so anyway, on the one that's in the marker, I still want to suggest um, a little bit of something on the ground, okay? Maybe a line like this. You know, you could have some flowers over here. And so what I'll do with the black is I'm just, I'm not going to do any cross section or anything, but I'll just do the rain. So the thing is, it's the same thing with rain as it is when you're doing snow, is that you want to draw it right over the whole thing, right? And if you want it to be really windy rain, you can go at a side, but you probably want to go the same direction. But you need to draw the raindrops right on the people and on the umbrella and everything. That way they're in the rain. Otherwise, they're in the garage and it's raining outside, right? Mm -hmm. An umbrella is a cool thing, though. I do like that. I, 
never would have used an umbrella either because I would have been like, that's so uncool. But now I love it. Oh, down on the ground too, right? On the boots, everywhere. Does it look like raining? Or does it look like it just has daggers shooting on the <laughs> I mean... I guess you could do it littler, right? Yeah. Okay. So up here on this one, we're gonna I'm gonna take the white. Oops. And if it, if my paper was a little bit darker, it would have a better effect, but also would affect the colors a little bit more. So, um, I don't know. Is this gonna show at all? Some of it. Oh, this kid was splashing, so I want to have some white that goes up from the boots. Put some on the ground, some water. A little bit coming off the boot here. If I draw through, like, the, um, the umbrella, oh, <laughs> it's going to pick up the red, so I want to have a cloth, or else it's going to be pink. Put a little shiny bit on my boots. Put a little highlight on there, maybe on the coat. Oops. This one has a lot cooling up on the jacket. These little parts. Okay. So I will be back tomorrow. Um, at one o'clock, and we are doing. Wait for it. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Elsa, because Max has requested a princess, and this is his favorite princess, as well as a many, 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 many people's favorite princess. Maybe I will dress in a blue dress to go with it. Um. And if you, um, so you can watch these anytime on YouTube, Valerie, free videos, free, uh, free, free drawing classes with Valerie Wallace Fine Arts on YouTube. Anytime you want to see them, there's 42 or something, I don't know, all kinds of different things. If you'd like to leave me a donation, you can go to ValerieWallaceFineArts.com. And go to the tickets, and you can leave a donation there. I'm also on Venmo at Valerie Wallace Nine, and yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow at one o'clock. And thank you so much for joining me. And I'll give you a little close up of the um, picture, so you can you can pause on there and and be able to um, you know fine tune what you're doing. Okay, thank you. Let's see, there we go. Hey. Veronica's home from work. Hey, my cousin Lynn. We are all okay. I'm thinking maybe Carmen is watching, not Dave. I don't know. There we go. Oh, Tom's watching again. Erlene. Oh, Halsey. Hey, Sue. How's it out there in the West? Amy, you're going to have to remind me what your son's name is because I can't remember. I think you have two of them. Okay. Oh, Cheryl. Hey, how are you? Holly. Hey, Mom. I get... Glad you're on there. All right. Thank you.